My name is Tom Boley. This is Hayward, Wisconsin. Hayward was once a famed fishing hotspot. Together, we are going to put Hayward back on the map as a serious fishing destination. This film is brought to you by Hayward Lake Visitors and Convention Bureau, Treeland Resorts on the Chippewa Flowage, Hayward Area Chamber of Commerce, Raymer Small Engine and Power Sports. Today we're here on Lake LeCouturier in Hayward, Wisconsin. I got my good friend Mitch, who's also from Hayward, behind the camera. Hayward has phenomenal walleye fishing opportunities. It's August here in Hayward, and we're gonna jig and wrap some Hayward area walleyes. All right, we're pulling up to a deep rock cup here, cruising around looking for schools of big walleye. Um, these fish pot up real tight this time of year. Basically, all we're looking for is, um, you know, if these fish are sitting right at the edge, and most of that's going to be a real condensed ball. And there are a few fish down there. Actually, it looks pretty decent, so we're going to drop the troll motor here, spot lock, and see if we can't grab a few of them. scary every time these fish make a run. Oh, he's barely hooked too. <laughs> nice fish there. There we go. You can see what he ate. That uh, chrome perch jigging wrap has been a hot one for us. He was actually hooked pretty good. There we go. Beauty. He's probably about a 20 inch fish I'd say middle of the day out here. We're gonna let him go. Oh, is that a bass? I've never jumped one. Hook up. Decent little ear fish. He's perfect for the table. Dude, look at that. Yeah, we need to do something, Tom. That is a pontoon boat full of girls. Those are all girls. Oh. Ah. Hook. Oh. Yeah, he might be a little smaller. Right in there, 15 inches. That is probably the most versatile walleye bait on the market right now. There's been a ton discussed about these jigging wrap style lures. Um, I've been playing around with them for a few years now and they are incredibly versatile. The one thing with these is you talk to 10 people and they're going to tell you 10 different ways to fish these baits. Um, there's a lot of different ways in the early summer. I'm popping it up and I'm keeping my rod up and I'll let that bait fall a little slower. This time of year what I'm doing is getting it out there, letting it fall straight to bottom on a slack line. That's important. You want that bait shooting down real quick. Once it hits bottom, I'm going to take, I'm going to pop the rod quick twice and I'm going to drop my rod back to the bait. What that does is it gives that bait that quick fall. Sometimes these fish will hit it on the way down, but 90% of the time these fish are actually picking it up right off the bottom of the lake. And you're not gonna feel them until that fish, you know, until you go to rip it again, and there'll be a fish on there. Um, you can fish, I like to fish mono more than I like to fish braid. Uh, if you're fishing braid, you can see how hard I'm ripping it with mono. And uh, typically with braid, you're gonna do these little softer pops just cause it's gonna be a lot more aggressive bait with braid on it. Um, I like to rig up like 12 pound mono um, down to like a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and uh, you know throw a swivel about 10 inches to a foot up 
and that's how I fish these things this, this time of year. I'm fishing mostly uh, number sevens and number nines, and uh, you know it's it's purely a, a triggering bait. These baits jump so fast and fall so fast that they trigger a lot of fish. They're an unbelievably versatile bait, and they catch a ton of fish for us this time of year. Fish. Oh, here's another nice fish. It's been heating up as the day goes on. I'm gonna throw him back. Beauty. Fish on. First cast. And is it a walleye? It is a decent walleye. Just spot locked up on the school here. Here we go. Pitch missed one on the first cast. About a 18 incher. That one sucked down a uh, chrome perch jigging raft. We're gonna get them back quick. We're hoping there's a whole bunch of them there. We marked a bunch of them. Whether they're staying in the same spot or not, I have no idea, but we'll find out. Oh. Ah, this could be a nice one. Too hard to tell yet though. We got some weight though. Where is he going? Really gotta baby these fish. Really gotta baby these fish. Really gotta baby these fish on these jigging wraps. You better baby no. it. No! no. <laughs> Mitch! Oh. oh, that's so scary. <laughs> oh no! 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 no. no. Pretty nice fish. Nice. That one's twin, it's probably a school of all about the same size fish. Another about chunky 17, 18 incher. Nice walleye. We'll get him back. There we go. Oh! Yes. Story of my <laughs> life. That was a nice one. Here we go. Got him again. Nice baby, I'm baby him. <laughs> oh, we are doubled up. All right, guys, we're going to talk about some structure. There's two kinds of structure I really key on this time of year on these big natural lakes. One of them being uh, long rock point extensions, uh, kind of secondary structure that comes off a lot of these shallow weed flats. Uh, we'll throw a picture of one of those up in this corner here. Um, the other kind of spot I'm looking at a lot of times is deep rock humps in that 18 to uh, Oh, 25, 27 foot range. We'll throw a picture of one of those up right here. Um, the more character you got to them, obviously the better. We're doing a ton of driving around looking for those real nice balled up clusters of fish. And uh, I mean, that's basically the game plan. Those are the kind of spots we're hunting around looking for these schools of walleyes. <laughs> Man, I'm so nervous on this one. <laughs> Come on. Your entire livelihood's right Not in that fish. big, not that big, but. It's a nice walleye. There's about a 19 incher. Pulled up right into the school. And uh, first cast, Mitch pitched back, got one. Actually, what'd you do, you lost one? Lost one, lost two, then, caught one. Caught one. <laughs> We're gonna get back to our school and there should be a whole bunch more active ones in it. Fish on. Dude. No way is this a walleye. We've been working hard for this bite today. There we go. Thought it was a monster, but just, uh, Hook right in the side of the mouth. Get you up there, buddy. It's about a nice chunky 18 incher. We're finally getting to that witching hour of the day here. We've got to get out of here, but it's been an awesome evening of walleye fishing.